Woo! Welcome. Right. Uh, this is going to be a little different. Uh, Lars, would you like to explain to us what we're doing today? <laughs> so we are going to do a reaction to the amazing German slash Hungarian show turned for kids movie, uh, translated to English, a uh, cult classic, uh, The Catch of Vampires. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. since it's uh, since it's almost Halloween, uh, let's watch a let's watch a movie that tries to be spooky and fails except for for one scene. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're just gonna have a fun time. We're like, yeah, I mean, we've kind of taken a break from tearing into people's bad fan fictions, but let's let, let's enjoy tearing into this hilariously bad uh, movie right here. <laughs> and this isn't fan fiction. This is something that somebody actually spent the time and effort to publish. I've never seen this, uh, and I don't think Camille or Scott, who are also here, just not on camera, have seen. Lars, you're the only one who's seen this, right? Yep, I grew I grew up with this movie. Yeah, uh, and when I was a kid, I did not appreciate uh, how stupid and uh, how raunchy it almost gets in a couple of places. <laughs> so suffice it to and, say, be warned: this is uh, uh, not the most appropriate for children. I'm assuming. Uh, I've only seen like yeah, I mean, small little clips that Lars has shown me, and this is gonna be an acid trip folks yep and uh and, and i will say this i will like uh, this is it this this is probably in jest but i wouldn't i would be surprised if i found out that this movie inspired stephanie meyer to write twilight probably oh, yeah. because when you watch it there's a lot of similarities yeah is there a way to change my background that's what i'm trying to figure out right now <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave it. Oh, look, right here. I found it. Change it to Transylvania. Ooh, custom. Oh, I have to... Up oh. Woo! No, I'm not going to do that. They want me to upgrade to the more expensive version of Discord. No, thank you. Cyber City? <laughs> Ooh, look at me. Ooh. Oh, you're the hero that we need, but not the one we deserve. Okay. Or none. Here's my here's my office that's uh, currently not very well put together. Let's just let, anyway. Let's just get started. <laughs> Enough dilly dallying. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, what year ooh, is this movie uh, from? What, one, this is from, if I remember correctly, uh, nineteen eighty eight. Um, maybe actually, well, it, say when it was finally like dubbed over into English would have been nineteen eighty eight, but it was actually made early earlier over in germany and hungary um oh, this it's is German. they, they basically makes a lot of sense yeah they took they took clips from different episodes and just slammed them together and so if you actually find the original show out on youtube or on amazon it's wild there's bizarre things that happen in that show like uh children getting like a little baby getting beaten on screen like it, uh, they edited that out because this is made for children in the U.S. But they, but to try to grab the parents, they have Elvira, a uh, horror sex symbol of the '80s, be the uh, the narrator for the for the movie. Well, there you go. That's, so uh... yeah. <laughs> well, now I feel less confident. Th about this movie's movie. wild. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, anything else you want to tell us before we start, or should we just dive um, in head I, first? I, I I'm just I, I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say because I brought it up earlier uh, about the whole Twilight thing. Watch the character Bella, and um, if it behooveth us at the end of watching this, we can have a quick character. We can have a quick discussion about character and see which Bella is better: Bella from Twilight or Bella from Catch of Vampires. Deal. Okay, here I mean, we go. If the name's even the same, I, I'm starting to lose all faith that Stephanie Meyer didn't just copy most of it from the movie. <laughs> I mean, I wonder how much of this is like. I'm, I'm sure quite a bit of it is like traditional vampire lore, uh, because it also talks about Marceline, the vampire queen, 
which if you i i i'm curious to know if adventure time got that from some other uh like fairy tale or or if it just called it from here it's a pop culture reference yeah yeah Mm -hmm. exactly i don't know i i've never looked into it i don't really want to look into it let's do this (laughs) Let's just do this. Let's just jump into this fever dream. Okay. Because, yes, go. this does exist. Yeah. <laughs> it's me, your favorite ghoul friend, Elvira. Get ready for and it's going to be VHS quality. Fun. So there will Catch be little vampires, bloops, narrated, of course, by me, as the video Elvira, goes along. Mistress of the Dark. It was a creepy, crawly night. Catch of Vampires is just. I don't even know. See, look, Hamburg. Maybe. Is that even more of a thing in Germany than it is here in the states? Catch of Vampires? Not really. This is this. Oh yeah. Just vampires in general? Well, it doesn't no, the it's whole... ultimate. Ketchup. Ketchup. Is it oh, more popular ketchup. in Germany than it is here in the States? Oh, the Germans love ketchup. Ketchup is like... Ketchup is their ver- variation of, like, uh, spice. Because okay. it... Like... Because I was at the International Marketplace in Vegas last week, and I was Greetings looking through the German section, and there was a lot of there. ketchup. Settle back and- a lot of ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They they love they love ketchup so 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 this, so this just absolutely fits in right here. Also, just real quick, since you paused it, uh, the movie the movie takes place in the middle of the show, so it just assumes for whatever reason that you know like half of what's going on. So if n- none of this makes any sense, that's why. That that's helpful. Um, <laughs> well, moving on. Queen, Moving on. I tell you the hauntingly wonderful story of the Ketchup Vampires. It's a tale that begins in this crumbling dump called Castle Ravenstein. Here's the guy that owns the place, Edgar von Ravenstein. He's on a scale somewhere between your typical mad scientist and a nutty professor. Just a little miscalculation. There's the professor's pretty granddaughter, Bella. Pretty strange, that is. <laughs> then there's Uncle Leo, who thinks he's a frighteningly good Shakespearean actor. Just plain frightening's a little more like it. To thine own self be true. Oh, wonderful. But did I mention vampires? Okay, already, I'm getting to them. They live here, too. These are the ketchup vampires. There's the ingenious young cousin Siegfried. He's the up-and-coming gourmet in the family. Oh. The kind and jolly mother, Margaret. Our hero Pino and his French chef father Maurice. They're not your normal bloodlusting variety of vampires. No. These are a new, more peaceful vegetarian breed of vampires. They don't suck blood. Instead, they love things like ketchup and lots of other things made from tomato. Basically ketchup. Yeah. What are the ketchup, ketchup vampires and doing not here ketchup. and not in some coffin somewhere? Why they're yeah. fixing up the old ketchup factory, of course. Like vampires Sounds good to time. me, and it sure beats Robin Blood Bank. <laughs> huh? Oh, skills with that hammer. Oh yeah. They could have done a little better matching the floor tiles there, but that's okay. Or the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, it's an air conditioner. Would that be like the equivalent of us putting a piece of meat on the side of a building? Yeah. (laughs) With a smiley face. (laughs) I like meat. Actually, I'm just going to say, like, if you go over to Germany and you find, uh, like, a butcher shop, there's always a smiling pig or cow, and it's, like, it's so happy it's about to get butchered. <laughs> doesn't know any better. <laughs> yeah. It's a happy little cow. Yeah. 
Oh, that box will definitely hold. Can't hear what they're saying over the sound of the like shouting music. Maybe knows he's <laughs> no. an old trunk that belonged to his parents. And that will happen a lot. What was inside. Oh, Most of it seemed to be a lot of old sentimental junk. But one object caught our hero's eye. And the more he studied it, the more nosy, uh, I mean, curious, he became. I wonder. Well, that was almost like hey, a Zelda mother, sound. What is this? What, dear? Oh, what is it? Well, that's nothing. Uh, why don't you just give me that old thing and I'll pack it back away? But you haven't told because me why it is here. You know, come on, are you? be a good boy now. No way. Not until you tell me about the book. Well, oh, you little brat. Okay. I guess you'd have to learn oh, about it okay, sooner. Okay, I later. guess I will. That's a very old book you found there. I mean, if my grandma yes, was that much of a pushover, I would take advantage of her it's too. It's called The Legacy of Dracula. <laughs> it teaches you how to be a bad vampire. 32 years ago, I was studying that book. To tell you the story of that book is to tell you how we catch a vampires got started. And boy, had mummy ever been holding out on the kid. She proceeded to tell a totally incredible story about when she was a girl back in good old Transylvania. The book once belonged to none other than that original bloodsucker himself, Count Dracula. In it, he wrote down the secrets that allow vampires to survive by lusting after blood. Pino's mom explained that back then, the only thing she was lusting after was Pino's father, Maurice. Neither one of them especially liked the Why idea of drinking blood and decided the right then and there never to use their fangs for evil everything. purposes. Exactly. They made a plan to take the magic book from the secret chamber where it was kept. It was a dangerous undertaking, and they knew that if they were caught, the followers of Dracula would do something terrible to them. But they were willing to take the risk, because they knew that if the book was hidden away, it would be impossible to turn the next no, that's important. vampires that, that, into that, beings that, that not seeing anything. Blood. That's going to come up later. The night the book was taken was the very night of the vampire's sacred Matura ceremony, which gave new vampires the power to drink Reminds blood. Reminds me of like a super cheesy, we uh, others to make ourselves strong. uh, Soon the magic hour college, had arrived. Like, uh, the moonlight frat, shone down um, through the special oh, opening in the rock. Hazing or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. What he really needs is a hair transplant. As the moonlight drew the cryptic parchment in the manner When the master turned to place the magic parchment over the fearsome words of Dracula, he saw that the book was gone. Since then, for 33 years, no new bloodlusting vampires have been created. <laughs> You think they'd be more angry? So that's than the that. story of the book. <laughs> Quite a tale. Yeah. Is it true? Yes, taking that book eliminated a whole generation of bloodsuckers. I bet they want the book back. Well, I doubt they've forgotten Duh. about it. Every 33 years, they have another Matura. So then it's almost. Yeah, time that seems again. like a very Don't inconvenient worry. time span to like to mature them. vampires. Well, like 33 oh, years gosh, before we actually turn you into a real mother. vampire. I should have told you sooner. It's just that it Doesn't all happened so sense. long ago. I haven't seen any of my wicked relatives since then. It's almost time for another Matura ceremony. I wonder what they are up to, especially my cousin Hilga. My dearest Hilga, please send us information regarding lodging during the upcoming long-awaited Matura Vampira Ceremony. Mm. We just hope that this one mm. is not a disaster mm. like the last time. Mm. <laughs> oh, everyone's been prepared and our bloodlust is high. Uncle Theo coming to stay? <laughs> oh, what's this? Reminds me of a worse version Here of the... Whatever the Please be about weird Uncle bat Theo thing was oh, from uh, Anastasia. Oh, the Bartok. Yeah, this is a worse version of Bartok. Yeah. Dead beats all of them. Who and with all the problems I've got. But that same she day, sounds the like the female Burgermeister Meister. Very good news. <laughs> oh, Mama's little baby. Aren't you Mama's got... little bat? Okay, uh, oh, Nate, Nate, quickly pause something right here. <clears throat> Midnight. There's. Okay. Okay. So, 
what, like I said, the, sh the movie just throws you into the middle of this thinking that you know what's going on. And some of this stuff like might not make any sense at first. So effectively, here's the thing. Pino's father was engaged to this old bat that you see. Well, not this old bat right here that you immediately see on screen, but Hilga. And, uh, and she's been obsessed with him ever since. The people that she's about to talk to are actually pretending to be vampires. Who then, uh, who, who then are also pretending to be from the same house from France that Pino's father Maurice is from. Okay. It's really, really bizarre. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good to know. The visitor here that wishes to see you. The gentleman says he's from the house of the Marquis de Vampire. What? Is that the man who left me at the altar? Out of my way! Oh. What is this? <laughs> you are not Maurice. Fortunately not. Let me introduce myself. You know the vampons? Yes. I once worked for, uh, the, your friend Maurice. He was my fiancé. I understand. Some bad business between your families. Please accept my sympathy. But Maurice broke my heart and I can't stand him. Oh, yes. Oh, he yeah. can't stand him either. And my cousin Margaret, you didn't get a book from her, did you? Huh? A book? No, ma'am. Which is it you either did or you didn't? Well, yes, she had a book when I was looking in her chest, but I... I don't think you like it very much. It was really very old. Old and dusty. Ah! Was it a red book? Mm-hmm. Red letter? Mm-hmm. Old parchment bound crossbys? Mm -hmm. It has a metal buckle and lock? Yeah. You passed up the <laughs> legacy of Dracula? The book I have been looking for for almost 33 years now! And you had it right there in front of you! Bull, you had it in your hands and you didn't take it! Why, you little swamp bat, you! Contessa, we can work this out. If the book is that important... This sounds like someone who's looking for the very first volume of Demon Slayer and isn't finding it. It was a Welcome to the book between uh, evil and green. The book seller life. Ricardo lost no time yeah. devising a plan to recover <laughs> oh, the him. legacy of Dracula. And it's so many Great manga mind. nowadays. I think Seriously. We'll be fast friends. Excellent. Luckily, Finally, a lot I have of a the publishers have been the like saying, "Hey, clever scheme we're going to print this again. This is when you think that the old master taught the secrets of Count Dracula's bloodstained wisdom." It is such emotions that what? Be quiet, you little twerp. You're interrupting the whole class. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Enough, please. That's how you oh, know he's a bad person, is if he can't oh. stand a child crying. This isn't yeah. fair. Lars, is that the baby that they end up beating? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, that's the baby that in the show they beat up a couple of times. And actually, in the background, if you, you might have missed it, but the cousin, the good cousin, is in the background. And that's because, like, once again, they cobbled stuff together because he was originally a bad vampire before he was converted to a catchy vampire. Not only has the master okay. forgotten all the lessons, but I've got a babysit for this brat all day long. You're a bright girl and a good babysitter. You can do it. <laughs> oh, I'm already missing the lesson on bats flying and hurricanes, and that chubby baby is driving me absolutely out. This is terrible, I'm not gonna lie. I don't believe that the woman destined for your greatness would let this little fondling stand in your way. Bah. It throws the baby. It's your job. <laughs> oh. You butter, why can't you keep up with this child? Look for the mess he's making. No, not my desk. No, this is your fault, you butter. I made this little imp your responsibility and now look what you got to do better. Then you can't even I'm loving these uh, old VCR uh, audio quality. No, back right? to the yep. class with the baby. This is the best part. Soon the vampire students yeah. were ready it's... to go on their mission. <laughs> Black paint will camouflage your fangs. It only works from a distance, so where are your bandanas? Keep talking about some bad cold in the area. Da, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm older and can use a mustache to disguise my appearance. <laughs> Everything is ready, Contessa. We That's leave the at dumbest once. thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Just bring me back that book. Who knows? Maybe it contains a 
this builder could make a man fall in love with Vampires making masks fall before... <laughs> before COVID. As the students yeah. set off for Ravenstein, what, 30 professor years before COVID? was seriously short on I like how he's driving a hearse. He knew that the student's arrival, and most yeah, importantly, not? a big fat check. I mean, if I you're... I've got money now! Nope. I don't have to sell the castle now! Now I can continue with my experiments If you're a vampire, you can, write, you can drive whatever you want, so why not drive a hearse, even though they're super expensive? You won't believe it, but today <laughs> yep. you received a big check I in the bag! I could afford one, sure, I drive around as my daily. We can keep the castle now! Wouldn't be my first choice, but I wouldn't be the students, they're going to live here! But the professor was only a pawn in the plot to steal back Dracula's teachings. Good evening. My name is Professor Rovsky. Welcome to Castle Ravenstein. We're so happy that you've come here. Well, thank you. We are very tired from our trip and in need of rest. Excuse us. Look how pale they are. Oh. oh. Gee, they're all wearing handkerchief masks. I hope they don't have colds or anything. Let's go. Professor I don't want anything that? to affect my voice. About the paleness, because he's pretty damn trip. pale himself. <laughs> Everything clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's like, what the heck? Takes one to know one. Dracula's legacy has got to be here somewhere, and we're going to find it. So much for that Remember to hiding his fangs. The fact that you're vampires. Yeah. Hide your fangs. And you're all too pale. Go and get a moon tan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the students were quick. I wish it were that easy. Those students are vampires. Blah. Blood sausage. If all they ever eat is blood sausage. Hey, blood sausage no is actually pretty mind, tasty. They all want to be blood suckers. But what are they looking no, for? Ah. Now I know. I bet they're looking for that book. Hmm. There. We're finally almost cleaned up. Wait till you hear this. Huh? Those students are after Dracula's book. Oh. I can't believe it. Are you sure you're not just letting your imagination run away with you, Pino? They're vampires who eat blood sausage. Mon Dieu, so that book must be what they're after then. They finally found us. Hmm. If they find the legacy, they'll take it to Transylvania for the Matura ceremony. The Matura ceremony? Oh, it can't be. You're sure? Well, yeah, it seems like it. Oh. <gasps> now there are bloodlusting vampires all over the castle, and they're living in the boarding house upstairs. If only we had some warning, then we might have had the chance to still escape with the book. Well, for I mean, me, it wouldn't still be that could. easy. I couldn't just run away and leave Bella behind. Back yeah, because my teenage romance is so much more important than the an entire generation of vampires and being born. Caretaker, of fully. course. Shh. Hey, Chubby. You want to see what our bully can do? <laughs> oh, nothing can stop us now. We we'll fly to Ravenstein and get the book. <laughs> May I introduce myself? I'm Baroness Bloody Mirsky, widow of the late Baron, a collector of rare books. <laughs> <laughs> the Contessa Hilga, disguised as a lonely Baroness Widow. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, but you're going with us, dear Goldie. We need your help oh. in finding the book. I know you want to help, won't you? Oh, come on. Nah. Oh my gosh, we're only 15 minutes in. <laughs> I thought we had to have been further than that. Damn. Nope. <laughs> uh, this this is this is going to get so wild. This is going to get too wild, man. all your time with baby. needs me. You've been neglecting your chores, bully. But somebody has to watch the baby. You will be punished for this. Yes, and I know exactly how. What? No. She's going to punish herself. I'm so confused. A present for Castle Ravenstein. Isn't that just what bully deserves? Perhaps. Oh no! Please, I just wrapped do the, the baby's head up in a, in a rag. <laughs> oh! Your Margaret loves children, so we'll give her this brat. I figure a new little baby will keep them plenty busy. Great! Then that will give us time to search for the book. Now, it's time to go. Yeah. <laughs> we can be baby. I'm done with it. Chubby we'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Chubby, come back. 
What did you say? No, to me? Come back to said, can we just kill the baby because I can't live Shall like this back? anymore? Just <laughs> get rid of it. <laughs> get rid of it. Oh man, you that old baby. That old baby's going to go through some Will stuff. I promised you that, boy. Have the most uh, character worry, progression out of anybody in here. Yep. Hey, the baby who doesn't know any better. Yep. It's time for my revenge, Margaret. I haven't forgotten, but you did. To protect the book, the professor and Siegfried went to lock yeah, it up for jump safekeeping. Jump off the roof and flap your arms really, yeah, really hard. Your dungeon you can fly. It hasn't been used for a couple of Good hundred know. years, and that's, there are not legends about that's it. That's not going to end with any injuries at all, huh? Oh. <laughs> it probably actually has. It looks like we could use some maid service and a new coat of paint in here. <laughs> right. There. That's good. This is the perfect place for Dracula's legacy. Yeah, we're just gonna stick it in the dungeon. Yeah. And lock oh, the door. And that's that, the moment. Never like, no it. one will- oh, no right. one will think and to bring I'm a screwdriver and undo the hinges. <laughs> after all this. But now, Huberta had a little trick to play. It'll be good riddance for you, chubby. That is one ugly drawing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well done, nephew Siegfried. You are becoming. I like how I like how Pino and his Anybody mom are just like. Home? Anybody want a little baby? <laughs> a little baby? Oh, I just love little babies. He was found on a doorstep. He needs a good home. His first tooth is coming in. Oh. Yeah, after oh. she punched him. Look at that. He likes you. Here, the baby's name is Chubby. Why don't you keep him? Do your teeth hurt, little chubby baby? We'll have to get you your bottle right away. Ah, uh, I've got his bottle. Here. Puree of blood sausage. See ya. Puree of blood sausage? I think we should start chubby on some tomato food, don't you? We'll have to cook some baby ketchup for little chubby. Yum, yum. Tell me, <laughs> what flavors do babies like best? Honey. The milk. And a little bit of vanilla. Good. Yeah. yeah, baby kitchen. Oh, it looks like pepper. <laughs> oh, Chubby will sleep much better if he's raised on tomatoes. Oh. And now, I've come here myself. I shouldn't have trusted you and the students to find a legacy. Oh, but Contessa, I just did. Be quiet. <laughs> now I'm in charge. I'm going to find that book myself. Is there anybody around Mind here? Myself. Yes. Hello, Uncle Leopold. Is dinner ready? The students are hungry, and we have one more guest tonight. Some lady dressed in black. A lady dressed in black. Black is this the scene color is of my so room. Now that I've been rejected from the Meadowbrook Dinner Theater acting troupe, how appropriate. They'll have black bread and black tea. <laughs> Our one nutty uncle. Here's some burnt toast Here, and some tea. black tea. There you go. Black. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how events always mirror my moods? Your dinner is ready? Come in! It's sure, it's like, what? Where did this come from? <laughs> oh, isn't it a little dark in here? I'm still in deep mourning, my dear. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm here to carry on the life's work of my late husband. <gasps> he collected old valuable books like this one. Do you think there are any here? In the basement, perhaps. <laughs> there could be. Yeah. I'd pay well for those books. Okay, I'll ask my grandfather if he has any to sell. <gasps> Is that a bat? Oh, it's nothing, my dear. Now go and ask your grandfather about the books. Oh. Tell him they're worth money. Sure. But, 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 you didn't even try to ask them about the book? We'll have to use the old widow trick. Escalates. Just like Just here, here it goes. Nowhere. Yeah. Yes, come in. Yeah. No. Excuse me. No. I'm the band's widow. My husband's Don't build up collecting anything. rare books. Uh, I'm uh, here to ask if you have any old books or perhaps antiques or paintings that you would want to sell us. <laughs> no, What's a cute baby no, you got there? No. No, I don't think we're interested. That's Contessa Hill 
Wow, that's a that's oh, one advanced you baby. Who's, you on me for my revenge? He can oh, talk he, and still on a bottle. <laughs> yeah, well, as you said, the most character development. That's true. <laughs> you give it to me right now. I haven't got it. Well, you better find it. <laughs> Give him here. Ha! No! Oh, little chubby. I guess you want him back. You can have anything. Ha! Give me that book. Or you'll never see this brat again. And I want the husband you stole from me, Maurice. Where is he? Ha! Oh, please don't take the baby. Oh, oh chubby, chubby, oh. What are we going to do now? Oh. Yeah, I don't think Chubby is a very appropriate name for a child because they're going to grow up and resent everything. <laughs> yeah. Chubby now. Chubby. Oh, damn it. This is terrible. <laughs> Chubby's gone. It's made me lose my appetite. No matter. When I'm unhappy, I don't cook well, son. If we don't eat, we won't be able to keep our strength up. This soup's all right, you know. It just needs a little garlic to no! punch it. No! Grandpa, they're oh. vampires! They can't eat garlic. It's not good for them. Don't you remember the legends about how it repels them? Hey, yeah, garlic. Listen, everybody, I got a great idea. I've been reading Dracula's book, and according to him, we could become what? immune to garlic. Oh, Boy, just think yeah, how it. convenient. Oh, Dracula yeah. just yeah. never told He's anyone how to become immune to garlic. Well, well, I thought they weren't supposed to be reading the book, and he's just like, I read the book. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so so brave. <laughs> this part is so dumb. I just <laughs> oh, get that. what you define like Dracula as. Like, if it's the classic like Bram Stoker Dracula. I don't know about that. Maybe if it's the Helsing Dracula. Yeah. I can oh, you see have that. Been my one and only <laughs> He's just an asshole and doesn't tell people. Yeah. Bah! Oh, he got I mean, he got wrote it all down, did. so... He... Forgive me. Please. Huh? I beg you on my child. knees. Bless you again. Mm. Oh, you silver tongue devil, you. Mon chéri. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, the, the facial expressions of the teenagers in the background are on point. I would not want to be there either. Yep. Oh, tender moment. Get out! Get out! Get out and stay out! Oh, boy. Oh. Now, it's going that far, eh? Oh, oh yeah. No, she she wants to go all the way. She's thirsty. Thirsty. She's going to get her own little... Uh, me? Blood sausage, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Young Siegfried, your knockout potion could not have worked better. Now the time has come like, to see how we just saw someone get roofied. Formula that you got for us really is too yeah. Just flashing on. Yeah, you know, totally normal. Amazing. Nothing it's melting a hole right through the door. And, and, and where did this come from? We now have a disappearing formula. Splash the rest of this stuff on and make a hole big enough to climb just... through. What do uh, I do? You stand guard over there. Finally, we're in. I can't believe it. This is it. The real Dracula's legacy. Ah, and here I can find Dracula's profitable test kept secret. How to turn old Saxon underwear into gold. Ah, here it is. Put the Saxon what? underwear into a large pot of soup. <laughs> Add one pound of sulfur Ex during uh, a full moon. Ak, excuse me? <laughs> I mean, Dracula's most profitable best kept secret. How to turn old Saxon underwear into gold. <laughs> no wonder he had a castle all his own. <laughs> <laughs> they just write this like how do these people know that this stuff is in this book <laughs> I mean to some people out there I'm pretty sure golden panties is it kink but no <laughs> you're gonna I get metal poisoning that doing that <laughs> I'll knock it till you try it <laughs> fair point, fair point. Wait, 
Excuse me, miss, but before I bite your neck, I need you to wear one of these. It's very heavy. <laughs> but it is most luxurious. <laughs> it, it, it'll keep you from running, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, bother. Well, I'm going to press right, play can... now. <laughs> yeah, 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 press play. credit for finding the book. Every time something gets accomplished, I'm not allowed to be around. Huh? Ah! The door! Ricardo! Ricardo, get out! Get out quick! Huh? The you know what that had the same energy as? What? Oh no! Our table! It's broken! <laughs> Please don't say that again. It's cursed. I hear it too much. Way too much. It had the exact same energy. Just, I, I love this shot right here. It's just, uh, <laughs> oh, it just happens to be that the formula is only temporary. Of course it is. The hole is closing up. Ah! Get out, get out before it's too late. Oh, no, no, no. The formula get is only temporary. Ah! Oh, no, no. Open the door, oh, you dumb dumb. <sighs> Yeah. That was easy. <laughs> Come back with the, the, the screwdriver. This is like classic horse, uh, horror movie <laughs> logic. <laughs> like, oh wrong. no, I'm locked in here. Well then hey, unlock it. Hey, <laughs> I must go into this dark hallway. Sigfried, where's Chubby? Tell me the truth. Like how am I supposed right? to know? Woman, I well, just found the bat. Yeah. He's got his first tooth, he can speak, okay, he can fly boy. now. Chubby is the okay, main character of this movie. Everybody ready? Sad as it seems. I mean, it's... <laughs> Definitely he walked into the next act of the gun. story is like, have a kid is when? abused by his parental figures, gets, gets passed off in a joke, like sounds like a Disney movie, gets passed off as a game to get money or the book, whatever, and then ends up with a... Much better Bell family. It's heartwarming. I just wish I didn't have to deal with all the other crap that's in here. <laughs> no. Camille, what did you say? I said Chubby walked so that Jack Jack could run. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this scene. This is children's violence. We can't actually throw punches. So we throw so sausage, sausage and tomato. tomato. And garlic. Just garlic. Wait, is that the disappearing potion? You no, know, it's like supposed to be pureed garlic. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, oh, he was just trying to stab Pino with the sausage. Inky. Congratulations. We got all of those vermin. Yeah, but we still don't have that, you Uberta. We can't just let her get away from us. Where is that anti light stuff? Aha! Ah, here it is. She's putting on suntan lotion, effectively. Ah, what's this? Huh? They fell right into our trap. I knew they would. Never mind. I'm out of here. I'm coming, Chubby. Uh, what is that luckless, pathetic thing running away down there? Looks like you better. Do they have to use oh, capes to, to fly? Like it, even with you, yep. Better. Like it's. Okay, here comes the best scene in the whole movie. The this is the best scene. Oh, so video. this is gonna be oh, where it peaks. No, my darlings. Yes, in this is the peak. The it doesn't get any better than this. But it's not <laughs> disappointing. No, we've got to have that book. Without it, <laughs> the legacy of vampires can't continue, and Dracula's dream will perish. We'll be finished. 
There won't be any more blood suckers. What? What does that bat do me? <sighs> that bat knows he's screwed up. Oh no. No, no. It's ended now. The blood. It's gone. <laughs> All the blame will fall on me. And not on you filthy bats. You lie down <coughs> around here all day, hanging upside down. It's over. <laughs> is this where he I'm dies? End. What? Get that guitar. What is happening? I can carry on according to his teachings. Oh. I thought it was going to fall on his head, I and that was going to be... To take on <laughs> no, no, it's not... This is, like, actually a bit intense right here. Totally random, but intense. I don't think anything in this movie has made sense yet, so... <laughs> why should this be any different? It's the ruby ring! Dracula's ruby ring! Of course! The ring! The ring! How many times did I'm I having an associative episode right now. Yes. <laughs> Dracula's ring is made of ruby. Dracula's ring is made of gold. The one who wears his light is to be again made young, though he be old. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> now the power of the ring is on my hand. And I will use its might, so we can again perform the Matura. <laughs> Just when I thought all was lost. And now, I summon the power of the ring to give me the strength of Dracula. No longer will those catch of uh, vampires be dealing I with I kind of liked him better before. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the very height of my power. Because I wear the ring of Dracula. It wasn't long yeah, that's, before the Suddenly now everything has just gone whoop out the window. Ring. Notice that a change is oh, over the master. Master? Yeah, all that eyeliner. Dracula's ring is made of ruby. Dracula's ring is made of gold. You've oh. said this well, twice already. He certainly Please has stop. gotten much worse. Made young, though he be old. He's repeating nursery rhymes. Oh. I like how none of them realize that he's gotten like taller and younger. <laughs> Something happened. He has changed. <laughs> Quite right. Here to fall, the master could barely remember his name, you know. He must have found the ruby ring. And power has made him strong. <laughs> Is that juice, Goose? <laughs> Come back for some juice. <laughs> the bearer of the ring, you know this. This is my prophecy. There is a vampire who can reclaim the sovereign lineage of my throne. He has the honor to carry on in my name. And what a handsome boy he is. So Your well defined. Is vampire in the castle of Ravenstein. He is an original descendant of the house of Dracula. The name of this young one is Vampino. And he is the renewer foretold of in legend. Oh, wow. Ah, Gave us everything renewer. we needed to know. Yeah. How convenient. Uniting him and the no riddles, no nothing. Save our race of vampires. I mean, uh, as far as exposition dumps go, this actually isn't too bad. Uh, was hanging around with only one thing on her mind. Is she? How to get out of there. What? Did she just Meanwhile, her favorite pet bat, No, she's no, she's been hung up. She's been strung up by it. Oh. Right there. Oh. Okay. I thought it, I thought it really went there at first. I thought she went to the have to take you down to the tomato canning machine and have you steal that once and for all. All right, now calm down, baby chubby. I know you don't want to get on me bad side. Baby bubby. <laughs> chubby! <laughs> that does it. Someone's going to teach you a lesson, you little brat. <laughs> now, finally, 
it's my chance to escape. Ha! Huh. I had to wait until that egghead bully got out of the way, and now it's next stop Transylvania! I escaped I somehow. I love that they have to tell us everything that they're doing as they're doing it. It's not like... There's no chance that we would be Hello, able to figure Hilda. out that Looks she is like escaping. The bottom of the barrel. Yeah, wow. they had to no, tell us she was escaping. But I'm a little rushed right now. <laughs> Where's Yugo? Drinking ketchup. What? Why you? He's one of them now, you bird, and you better believe it. You tell me where he is. He's just lost without me. He doesn't seem so lost to me. Take a look out of the window. <laughs> Do we know who these bats are? Absolutely not. Do we care? No. Oh. <laughs> there is absolutely zero care to be given. I love you. I love you too. Oh. You go. What do you think you're doing out here? <laughs> I finally escaped, but I find you out here playing kissy face. Oh. Oh. Don't leave me. You gotta get me out of here. Don't forget, you go. You belong to me. Oh, no, I don't. Ah, you come here. I'm in love with Rosie. I'm not going with you. <laughs> now, here. Now a tomato. <laughs> ha. Come on now, you go. You're my pet bat. And your homely girlfriend can run along. Now, come on, let's go. Yeah. You and me have got to get back to Transylvania. She doesn't know. You go and I are married. <laughs> that bladed so fast. That was so quick. <laughs> <laughs> no hard feelings. <laughs> what? But we've got to go. Oh. <laughs> Why would you lasso it if you already had it in one hand? When you can, uh, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> That's the least of my worries at this point. <laughs> yeah. So now we've got yet another. Like, do we even know what's happening in this movie anymore? No. <laughs> Uh, now, just stop being so difficult. I think she wants to marry the bat. Yeah. Yeah. Just think of all you bur the you bur I've bur done. You bur you bur does doesn't have a body I pillow, so she's the got the bat. Oh, that broke me. <laughs> There's a lot of very questionable oh, oh, moral decisions in that right sentence. Now. Yes. <laughs> And it, it's not limited to just the bestiality <laughs> inside of it. <laughs> it's just going to continue to escalate from this point. Hello. Now watch the bat fur fly. I'm going to wring your neck, you ungrateful little rat. Yeah. That's not how you win the heart of somebody you love. Try again, lady. Oh, oh, uh, no, please never. No. Is this the way you act in the house of Dracula? <laughs> you should know better than to disturb a meeting ordained by Dracula, especially when your fate is so closely involved, Berta. You must learn. Hey, down. Things have changed now, you Bertha, and you must show a new respect for our honored master. I, <laughs> all I can hear is choose goose. Choose goose. It's choose goose. By the power of Dracula's ring. Now a great task awaits us all. Yes, yeah, so, oh master. Well, I'll see you round. You know, for some reason. Where did the cage come from? Don't ask questions. <laughs> it's, better, ask questions. it's better that way. <laughs> it's better this way. There's good news. The ring mentioned you in its prophecy. Tell me. You don't say. 
Beast oh. has got a game. Oh, yes, quite right. Yeah, yeah, what do I do, huh? Huberta, you must listen closely and the prophecy of the ring will now instruct you on how you can best serve the plan of Count Dracula. Dracula, we need delay no longer. Tell us your plan for this girl, Huberta, who will pledge ah. her life to you. <laughs> there is one vampire that can reclaim the terrible majesty of our bloodlusting kind. His name is Vampino of the Castle of Ravenstein. Why, look! Pino! <sighs> Before he can be empowered, he must be united with you, Huberta. This is a very great honor. You must kiss Vampino to seal this union. Ah, kiss him. Boy, oh boy. I think I've almost got it now. <laughs> Teenage <laughs> angst will save us all. <laughs> I'll throw up. I did it. Now finally I'm free. Now I'm off to Transylvania. <laughs> mm, but I don't know how to get there. But I do know who to ask. Ah. Come on, Gordy. Don't you have any good ideas for getting out of here? Oh. Hmm. Hello. Hi. May um. I ask you? How does someone get to Transylvania? Transylvania? <laughs> How does someone get to Transylvania? <laughs> Tell me. It's very important. Oh, please. I know. You want to go see your boyfriend Hugo. <laughs> so what do I care? <laughs> but if you do me a favor, I might even be persuaded to tell you how to get there. What? Open this cage, okay? Oh, all right. I happen to have a key here. The way to Transylvania. Yeah! Oh dear. What? Good going, Gordy. Oh. This is terrible. I hate this. <laughs> And, and and now and now we go in a whole new direction. It's time to test the new formula. Here goes nothing. We just apply my new enlarging formula, and oh. we'll see if we make a watermelon. It, what did tomato. he put in there? And then some enlarging. Viagra. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it didn't inside. work. He made a jelly tomato. <laughs> oh, now you've got a shrinking formula, Professor. A strange development. Mm. I'm afraid this won't help our ketchup production. I'm afraid I only tried it on a certain part of my body. <laughs> so, could it be? <laughs> that's what the, that's what the performance was really Is that why there's two tomatoes in a... Never mind. Maybe, but I can't think what. <laughs> and no one's gonna... No one's gonna question where the, where the potion went. They're all just gonna be like, okay, whatever. Gordy, are you sure you know what you're doing? Gordy? Huh? <laughs> Gordy, what are you doing, huh? You <laughs> fat <laughs> Gordy, you worthless bat, what have you done to me? You are supposed to help me get out of here. You called this an escape? What have you done to me, huh? It's a new shrinking formula. Oh, well, that's big news. Now we can go back to Transylvania. Transylvania? Are you crazy? Goldie, you can't expect me to go back there looking like this. What respect would anyone have for a contestant only six inches high, huh? They're going to Transylvania. Maybe you're short, but you're free, so let's get out of here, okay? Huh? Yeah, but first we free Ricardo and get the book. Okay, okay, let's go. Where he is. I've got to follow those, them. those poor kids just get abandoned. Yeah, exactly. They don't Ch matter. Child abandonment right here. They're just minions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are we really surprised with how they treated Chubby? No. No, not at all. 
I'd do anything to get out of this prison. I'm going mad, I tell you, mad! <laughs> I've only been in there here for one night, so... It's about time. We'll take you back to Transylvania. Ricardo, we've got to get the book. Ilga, you are little. Shut <laughs> up and get the book. Oh, yes, it's here. Oh, you are little. Here it is. Uh, yes, Did you use this I know. Formula to get? You won't. But do you have to? We don't have to. We can leave you in the dark cell to rot. What's it going to be, Jailbird? Okay, all right. Give it here. Give it here. Pour the shrinking formula over you. Fine. Anything to get out. Try it on the door or anything like that. In the Ricardo, do. do you have the book? Yeah. Uh. Oh. oh, no, the book. It's down there. I guess I dropped it. <laughs> what? You incompetent fool! <laughs> that book is worth much more than you are, you big imbecile! You little imbecile. We better get out of here now. And so the pine-sized villains from Transylvania look. went winging their way back home <laughs> with a determined right back name Rosie secretly following behind. That, at all, the, the, the entire movie up until this point has just been made pointless, effectively. Oh. Yeah, exactly. It was all about the book. I've left the book. I've got to follow them wherever they go. Well, there we go. <gasps> Why is it so hard to fly now? Ricardo! Well, yes. We are six times smaller. So we have to travel six times as far, yes. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I will never make it that uh. far. <laughs> what are they doing? I'm gonna be safe flying out here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just lucky I didn't get spotted. Get me up from here, Ricardo! <laughs> oh. oh! Are they gonna have, have a, uh, oh, a kitsy go. kitsy scene? <laughs> nope. No. No. Thank the goodness, that would have been much worse. Bigger than I <laughs> yeah, there, there's, there's some weird Hold stuff on, coming up. Oh, you are clueless, Thunderhead! Oh, 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 you numbskull bat! Uh. Well, you wanna go back? Oh, oh no, no, no! This is just, this is just fine! fine. <laughs> oh, I'm starved to death! Mm. I want blood sausage now! Yeah. Good! Uh. Sarge blessage. <sighs> Sarge blessage. <sighs> I don't think I could have gone much further. Oh. Phew. Good, it's supper time. Oh. Where's Theo? Hmm. I'll ring for him to bring us some dinner. <laughs> Belt made out of cast iron. How about that? Who ever thought I'd be queen of the vampires? What? Being a ruler sure gives me a big appetite. Whatever does she mean, being a ruler? I will see about this. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> ah, ah. Hello, Huberta. You saved yourself. You could have taken us along, too. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, now, what do we have here? What happened? Did somebody watch you two without reading the labels? You shrunk. <laughs> We have to use a shrinking formula to escape. Well, don't come back around here after all this time thinking that you own the place. I call the shots now, and you'll have to do whatever I say or else. I was getting very tired of being bossed around by the two of you. Huberta, what did we ever do to you? Just because we're small, that's no reason to be disrespectful. Yes, put us down. Whoa! 
Quit squawking, my little pets. Hope you enjoy your new home. <laughs> you better you will pay for these. All right, you better. I'll punish you for this. I'll teach you to fear me. <laughs> you better. It's time for the final transformation. The final what? <laughs> the final what? No. This. We have 30 minutes left, guys. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Do this. So I'm gonna say this right here now. Whoever came up with the music for this, like choreographed it and everything, should be fired. I mean, yes, but. <laughs> Explain to us why exactly you say that. I mean, I agree, but... Because, I mean, the dub's terrible, a lot of the plot's terrible, but I feel like you could have saved it at least a little bit with some good music. Like, it's already... From, from what it sounds like, it sounds like kind of a cult classic... But it might be even more popular with a better soundtrack. You don't well, you don't like the song about when we're together, we have the power of love. <laughs> That's the power it's not of love. This in a in a vampire <laughs> like Halloween movie of all things. Mm-hmm. Well, why not? That's the power of love. <laughs> Well, continuing <laughs> onwards. Yeah, continue on. Oh, oh, it's gonna get it's gonna get wacky here real real quick. Oh jeez. What? Uh, like I said, I said earlier that there's stuff in this in this uh in this movie. They're like, wait a second, this isn't a kids movie. And, and one of those moments is coming up here where you're like, what? <laughs> Now, powerful master was up to some okay so it's magic. talking about the power the of love but the, the power of love spoken. actually did you will be squat into the right image there. of this <laughs> soon can oh, kiss yeah. Vampino. we can use these ancient spells now that we have the power of the ring Ready? head of a rattler heart of a dove Make this girl look like Vampino's love. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> uh. Ah! Well. Oh. <laughs> Very funny. That's really a great gag. Why you? Be quiet. Ah. Don't underestimate how very serious this is. <laughs> Now, once again. It's like what I wanted to be a blonde. Concentrate you better. Make you better. Look like this Bella Miss. So she can be united with Vampino with a kiss. Ah. 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 Finally, you are able to concentrate. The transformation was successful. Vampino is doomed. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Uh, 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 this is uh, uncomfortable. Uh, I don't like it. Before you can kiss him, go you must lure him here. I suggest you use the real Bella as bait for a trap. Leave it to me. I'll get her. Yeah. What, See that what is she doing with her mouth? Uh. Ah. Yeah, leave it for me. I'll get her. <laughs> they just reverse the animation. Come on, use the power of love. Thank you, Rosie. I knew you'd come. Of course. But now I'm going to tell you a little secret. 
No, you're not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rosie's gonna have babies? It seems like they just got married. Boy, was that Yeah, sick. no shit. I thought they were bats, not rabbits. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Ravenstein. Yeah, it, yeah, that is probably what happened. Like, uh, Hugo probably knocked her up, and then they got married. <laughs> oh, oh, Pino. You know, Bella, you're the only girl in the whole world for me. Uh. There will never be anyone else. Uh, don't count on it. When I'm finished with my plan, you'll be kissing me. We better go now. Yeah. I can't seem to tear myself away from you. Yeah. Oh, then let me do you the favor. I told the professor I'd help him with his experiments. Arr. Now, where are my little friends? Hoot, hoot! Hold on, boys, I'm here! We had given you up. Yeah, what took you so long, Huberta? Oh, quit complaining or I'll leave you in here. Everybody oh. in! You don't know how bad it was. They made us drink ketchup. Ugh. Don't tell me you swallowed it yet! No, we were too smart for them. But they were always trying to convert <laughs> us. They'll never make us weak. Long live Transylvania! Bravo! It's now like a Shawshank Redemption moment right here. <laughs> they tried to make what? us swallow it. <laughs> and why? That's great leadership right there. Let's see. I yep. can inventory the tomatoes we have left. Most of them are already gone. And some stuck-up lawn's going to be gone, too. You! <laughs> hey, Bella, I forgot something. <laughs> That's what I forgot. Boy, I missed you. Oh, Pino. <laughs> You're messing up my inventory. Now go help my grandfather. All right then, Bella. Off I go. Bye. Well, that's bye, it. Pino. <laughs> yeah. I soon. came all this way to give you a kiss and now I'm leaving. I'm going to have to start uh -huh. all yep. over. One, two, uh, three. To be, teen, to be teens and in love. It's like, it's like they have got a corpse. Let's yeah. Go. They definitely do. A burlap sack wasn't enough for them. They had to do the whole body. Oh, Isn't Transylvania Hugo. like Hugo, wake up. several I'm countries frightened. over yeah. noise, huh? Germany oh, and they're flying back and forth like nightly? Yep. It's you, Berta. She's back. Oh, dear. Oh, me. No, no. <laughs> Because I just looked up because I was curious. Going on. It takes, oh. like, a pregnant vampire bat, it takes 209 days for it to get burnt. So there might be a stretch in time so? in there. Good. Yep. Yeah. Just based off of the bat. Time is so... Time is irrelevant here. Okay, I see. <laughs> it really is. She's got... Yeah! <laughs> <Ooh, Bella. laughs> well, here she is, master. Good boys. Boys? Ooh. You boys may go. Then let's have a look. Come on out, Blondie. Oh. This is the girl he's in love with. Where am I and what do you people want? You are the bait for our trap. Our trap for Pino. Sorry, but your plan won't work. I'm simply not going to allow it. What? How dare you? She needs a lot more help than I can give her. I'll get Rosie. They become a deadbeat husband and dad. Hey. Insolent child. Stand still. I wear Dracula's ring. What can we do with her? To the dungeon. For now, 
Hey, let go of me, you brutes! Oh. <laughs> I make a much better fella than you do. <laughs> Back at the ranch, it wasn't long before Pino noticed that Back at the that ranch! Special someone was not around. Have you seen Bella? Oh? No, no we haven't, haven't seen, seen her. her. No. Bella! Bella! Such a possessive boyfriend. Bella! I'm always checking in. I gotta make sure that you're not hey, talking Bella, with other boys. Yeah. Oh no, they're gone. Wow. I really don't like the looks of this. You got you left them alone. What do you yeah, think was going to happen? Is it? Yeah. Huh? Whoa. Footprints. Ah. Oh. But, but where could she be? Hey. The Let's all say the same thing stay. at the exact same time. <laughs> Good like idea. There must have been a struggle. I think they must have taken her. Oh, my Bella. Why? Why would they take Bella? Why? <laughs> Don't you worry, I'm gonna rescue you, Bella. All right, big fella. I'll rescue you, Bella. You get your chance to save Bella. Don't sweat it. Oh, my poor Pino. They're using me as bait to capture you. Cheer up, Bella. Want some really good news? Huh? I'm a father. A father. Oh, really? Wow. It's true. Rosie just had three yeah. battlets. Wow, three so it has been quite child. a while. Oh, that guy looks stoned. We've already <laughs> 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 Nick. Mick is a stone boy. The other boy's name is Mac. Mick Mac. And we named the right. little girl Mary. What? Oh, they're so cute. Congratulations to both of you. Welcome to the okay, world, you little Okay, Papa, <laughs> Papa Bat has really bad, uh... What was it called? Jaundice? When they has, like, yellow eyes? What is that called? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jaundice. Jaundice. Okay. That's what I thought. Oh, Dad, I'm way too full right now. I just ate. Now, are you sure you know the way to Transylvania? It's a long, long trip. I'll find it. Well, I'd better get I'll going I'll find now. it. Bye. I'll, I'll, my Wish love will connect Bye. us. Go get him, Pito. Good luck finding Bella. His name is Pito? That's not a red up. flag. Pino. Oh, Pino. And Pino. Pino was off on his mission. Ramp Pino. Yeah. The professor right. was dying to go to Pino. Transylvania, too. He wanted to help his granddaughter, and Siegfried had a plan. Now this works on vampires, but I don't know whether it will work on you or not. Fortunately, Professor, you already have the ingredients. Hmm. That's not sketchy at now, all. Let's just hope I remember this might work on correctly. this works on vampires, but I don't know if it'll work on you. Let me try it. <laughs> and let's make sure I got the. I don't know let's if I got the ingredients right. That I got the proportions exactly right. Yeah, this, <laughs> this works. You can fly to hell, Bella, tonight. Uh, well. Down the hatch. Uh, I love um, the reflection on the bottle. It says there's a, the formula a square well, window sure. uh -huh. behind him, well, but I it's an arch maybe window. We need to uh, try again. We gotta make sure you got enough of this stuff. I just yeah. Few yeah. Movies. It's just so a here, little just inconsistency, but concern. it's huh? it's enough to throw you off uh, a bit. Yep. Oh. Oh, I hate this. Oh. Nope, I got word. How did the clothes just regrow? <laughs> well, tell me, how do I look? Fantastic. Help me up. Thanks. Whoa. For some reason, I've got this urge to eat a bug. I guess that means I'm a bat. Well, you certainly look like a bat, except oh. you still have on your glasses. Well, then, I guess I'm just a scholarly kind of bat. Can you fly? Hmm? Oh. That's it! Just keep flapping! <laughs> He's just barely learning to fly, and he's gonna figure out how to oh, he has fly a pack all the way on to Transylvania. Oh, yep. Let's see. I ought to be able to do this. Hey, goodbye, Siegfried. Thanks again for your help. See you later. 
See you, and Siegfried's just gonna let him go. Goodness. If I didn't know better, I'd say that bat looked like Edgar. <laughs> mm -mm, maybe I need glasses. Or is it just my nerves? <laughs> you see magical things all day long. Why would that be so unbelievable? <laughs> yeah. She's so mean to her, huh? Be quiet, Mac. We don't want to let her know we're up here. <laughs> Why is Hugo sleeping? So, what was the whole point of her turning into Bella if all she was going to do is turn back into herself and steal Bella? So, I'm guessing they need Pino to show up in Transylvania at the Dracula place, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, and so they used to have to kiss, and so he'll turn evil because of that kiss. I'm guessing that. And they need to disguise him, disguise her, so she looks yeah. like. Well, what do we have here? Bella for that reason. How do? Come here. Oh, you look back. Why? Hey, you go. Watch this fight. Watch out, you go. Yeah, you traitor. Whoa. <laughs> uh, don't bet. The master wants to see you. All right, you rat faced little runt. You were lucky this time, but I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get one thing clear. Pino's mine now. Right after that kissing ceremony, he and I are going to get married. <laughs> and this is all like the romance in this in this movie just escalates real fast. Dating to married to pregnant, kissing to married. Maybe something good will happen and things will work out. What do you mean, maybe, Pop? I know they will. Thanks, guys. Whatever happened to the baby? Did it just stop existing? Great. I stopped existing. It doesn't yeah. Uh, Chubby was too powerful. Kino. They had to write him out of the plot. <laughs> yeah. But we I couldn't see him being written out of the plot. Kino. It had to be in the background. Once we kiss, he'll love yep. only me. Uh, so back to the um, your romance is at stake. You must carry out the so you really fast dating thing. The vampire world. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the dating the marriage to Good kissing you, you, you know what i mean concentrate on your duty are we sure this is happening this is in like germany castle, and transylvania huh? because now, it how do I sounds off an awful I'll lot a like look at my map <laughs> okay, got him mm. and i'm ready he just drank some monster oh, ketchup. Are you sure this isn't this like a ketchup ad fella. just a giant Make ketchup Uber advertisement look like bella <laughs> the spell is a success. It's like how Transformers just is a giant Ford commercial. Yeah. Listen, Chevy. Don't but yeah. put all your faith in this <laughs> yeah. Same difference. For Same difference. Work, you will have to play your role perfectly. Once you kiss him, he will forget all that has gone before. I mean, Avengers is a giant Audi commercial. So First, yeah. Vampino must kiss you. It's true. Oh. And then oh. he will be all your. Mm. And now, I have something else to tell you about. There's one more thing you must do in order to make the ring's magic work. Now, listen to me. For the ring's magic to work on Vampino, you must kiss within the magic circle and he will belong to you forever. A magic circle. And I love Vampino how half the time the characters ring. can't I shut sure up, but the other half of the time they can't say yeah. any words past, ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Exactly. It's like, it, it, Go now. I, I, it's like watching an old '80s anime, and try not to where it's just like, ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! oh. That's great news, Max. So why are you so worried? Because if they kiss, then Pino will forget all about you. But they huh? this. And she looks just like you. What are we gonna do? Huh? 
Like, Bella has already heard all of this. None of this is a revelation. This no. place is huge. Oh. 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 Ooh. You're gang of bats. I heard this guy Pino is here. Yeah. He's gonna be our new ruler, lucky guy. Not that lucky, he's gotta kiss you bear the first. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait for this movie to be over. <laughs> hey. hey there, old timer. Are you sure you belong here? Don't worry, this old coot's too old to do any harm. Well, I guess he's okay. See ya. <laughs> now I'm safe. Whoa! Oh. Hey, just who are you? Did you bird send you? What are you doing in our nest? Hey, what's going on here, huh? Hugo, Rosie, you've got kids now. It's Edgar. That's... Don't you recognize me, huh? Oh my, it's Bella. Bella! Huh? That bat must be crazy. Bella. Where where did oh, any Bella, of that come from? You need a rescue. Oh, I've stopped really asking questions. My what brain can't comprehend Just a little bit <laughs> magic and madness I'm that it is trying to. That, that is being... Bad. My brain is forcibly being uh, if against its so will. Being, you, uh, just oh, it's absolutely so absolutely demolished by this movie. It's just, it's a it's just being... Barda. It's just being dragged like it's being like dragged through glass. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, and I thought our castle was run down. Huh? It's Bella. I'll save you, Bella. I'm coming, just hang on. Huh? Whoa. What's going on here? She's there one minute and gone the next? Huh? Hey, you bats, get away from her! Bella, are you all right? Oh. And you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Now take a hike. Yeah. Sure. Get! Go on! <laughs> Bella. He's got the wrong Bella. Bella. I've got to warn him. Let him know. I've been so worried about you. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. Okay. I know you've been through a lot. <sighs> oh, how can I warn him? Huh? Maybe just tell okay, me. Let's go. Hey, is there something wrong, Bella? Mm -hmm. Bella. Oh. Huh? All right, you flying little hairball, I'll fix you. Wait, Bella, take it easy. She's a lousy kisser. Hey, what's the matter with you? You're acting weird and your voice sounds so strange that I would almost think you were somebody else. What, you? Uh, see, I've had a cold. Don't believe it. The game's over. Now, why don't you tell me who you really are? Okay, real fast. Maybe, you know, I said I had a cold, didn't I? Then maybe we shouldn't be kissing. You tomato head! <sighs> hey, what are you doing? Are you nuts? Hey, Peter and Steve, Bella, let me... Well, she almost fooled you, didn't she? Oh, just for a little while. So where's Bella? She's all right. She's downstairs. They've got her locked in the dungeon. That's great. So... That's great. <laughs> That's great. You Berta and her what? friends were up to, right? Because Pino's just like, oh, oh, role play. You know on the way. Okay. That's what he's got in his mind. All right, you lead on. Follow me. Right behind you. Now we'll apply my disappearing formula. It worked. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, is this where the party is? Oh, Pino, am I ever glad to see you? Hi, Bella. 
Rub the other Bella's bum. Hey, who is this guy? Hey, let me out of here! Well, I'm guessing you're the real Bella von Ravenstein, right? Here. Mm. <laughs> Just in case you had any doubts. Contaminate out there. I hear an awful lot of kissing going on. Okay, now where do you think we should put Miss Congeniality? Here, yeah. put her in the jail. Hello, my little shrunken people. Uncle Theo has come to visit you. <laughs> oh, why the long faces? That thing about <laughs> shrunken people was just a joke. <laughs> what, what does Choose Goose have Don't to sell them? all the time, you two. Uncle Theo has brought you uh, some good news to some cheer really you rad up. armor. Some You're armor going that's real. Ah, You're gonna have a ringside seat at the killing Ooh. ceremony between Uberta and Pino. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. All right, that should hold even you, Miss Ubella. Sorry, I didn't get a single word of that. This conversation's going nowhere. Now you just stay down here and enjoy the dungeon, okay? It's exactly what they had in mind for you. Mwah! My dear Bella. You've been subjected to so much danger. Oh, Grandpa. Hey, you two, I hate to interrupt, but we gotta run. Ready when you are. What will you do? Well, it's just like Bella says. We've got to oh, get yeah, there it is. ring away from There's them. the tracking. They'll be powerless without it. Once we get the ring, we're taking Hugo, Rosie, and the kids, and everyone else, and Are, getting out of here. There's stuff. They're cramming the moss into bags. We'll have to go back to their regular old diet of blood sausage. Got the plan, Professor? Mm-hmm. Good. Are you ready? Sure. Are all you bats ready? We'll be waiting outside the ceremony, just mm -hmm. as we planned. Oh, sorry, Mary. <laughs> well, we're all packed. Everybody's ready to travel. Stuff. We're, we're trying to eat up time here. They're like, how much... What, well, how many hours did you want this to run again? I guess we're going to add this well, take in. Take care of yourself, Grandpa. Better we'll add just right after the ceremony. Now is the appointed hour when the ivy-leafed rat foot blooms. Exciting, isn't it, my little strudel? Oh, yeah, they look so beautiful. <laughs> In Latin, it's Ivis uh... Rat Footus Transylvanium. Perfect. In the third hour after midnight, the blue. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We're almost there. Uh, uh, sweet thank you. Odor. <laughs> this is indeed a, good a sure sign that everything will go well for the vampires of Transylvania tonight. Wonderful. Wow, the old master probably snorted some so, some cocaine in his younger years. Oh, just like, look how he did it. He's like, just sucked it all. <laughs> Don't worry, Edgar. Pino and Bella know what they're doing. You and that little bat both. ceremony to begin in a few moments huberta disguised as bella will lead vampino into the magic circle and there she will kiss the renewer oh. what if the real is bella so blinded by love and forgetfulness circle. he will not even know we are here wait just a minute well it's time for us to go on stage i know i just wanted to say i love you I'm free! Now watch out! It's working! My disappearing formula is only temporary! <laughs> Don't I know it, Professor? Alright, if we can just keep the door closed a little bit longer, the lock will grow back and seal the I door! I'm oh. not falling for that old trick! <laughs> Good job! That'll hold it for a little while! Now come on, everybody! Everyone, get My your brain is mush at this point. 
Yeah. Come on, everyone, let's go. Oh my gosh. It is the experience. Come back. I'm trying to rescue you. Worse or better on, than Sonic High School though? Hey, I've got uh, to get worse. You out of here. Worse. <laughs> no. Perfect. Sonic High School had more <laughs> Sonic Not High School is just doing an excellent job. Nuts. Even her voice is convincing. <laughs> Master, Sonic High School that. had an abundance mm. of personality. Uh, it, it Sonic was High School was also self-aware. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Uh -huh. I, look at these look at these adults getting off to two teenagers. This is <laughs> messed up. Yes. By Dracula, she has succeeded. We have a great new leader. It was just perfect. Congratulations to you, Huberta. You have done a very difficult job. I will now give you the ruby ring. You will deliver it to the renewer, Vampino. <laughs> She's got the voice down. <laughs> Come. Time has come. Now is the reign of Vampino the Renewer. <laughs> hmm. Hey, are now you supposed to propose first? I know you'd say yes. Well, why doesn't the Renewer transform? Mm hmm. Maybe the transformation just takes a little more time. Oh my, they're so cute. It's wrong. The transformation doesn't take time. I've got to have that ring back. Uh, my energy. I'm losing it. The ring! They've got the ring! Hop no, on, and Ella, no one go. responds to this. I'm ready, Pino. No. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. can't fly because she's still a human. No, I think I'd like a birthday cake with pink icing <laughs> and two big white bangs painted right on top. <laughs> and that's how it ends? That, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Did we get beat again? Boy, oh, boy, did we ever get beat again? Mm. All right, is everybody ready to go now? Let's fly. Hooray! Oh, we finally get to leave this crummy old place for our new home in Castle Ravenstein! Kid, you've only been alive for like six hours. <laughs> so, what's this girl catawalling about? Eh? Oh no, master! Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's just like he was beforehand. Mm. Without the ring of Dracula, the master is again a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Mm, mm, mm. That's so. Sandwiches. Well, I guess I am hungry. What kind of sandwiches have when you got? When did he turn into Yogi yeah, Bear? He's lost his <laughs> again! This time it's up to us to think of a good plan! Plan, huh? Well, at least there's a happy ending to this story. Is All there, right? though? Pino, Bella, and the oh, rest of them are back! He's back. Finally, the main character has finally oh, returned. Oh, I always knew that Pino could do it. Oh, Pino, you're the most home. interesting. And everyone is safe movie. and sound. You don't sad, know how worried right? we've been That's about all of you. Yeah. That's oh, sad, <laughs> I'd hope Siegfried had warned you I turned myself into a bat. And you think we'd be prepared? Ah, hello, Maurice. Oh, Hugo and Rosie, you're here also. How wonderful. Do they know these bats? Oh, and your children. What happened? <laughs> how grand. Hi there, I'm Matt. Oh, Were they there for the wedding one. ceremony? And my name is for the Mary. boinking? Hello there, Mary. Uh, uh, and that's some. Nick. He's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you can always tell them apart from the others. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's certainly good to have everyone together again. We can celebrate. Let's have a catch-up party. This is a catch-up commercial. Well, darling, I hope you all enjoyed this warm yet chilling tale. Put together so, by the we meet again, Society unpleasant of dreams. Hey, yep. There you go. Oh my gosh. You know.
you know, I could have gone my whole life without watching that movie, and I yeah, think it's... I would have been happier. <laughs> oh, jeepers. Yeah, that, that was, um... There you go. That was a catch of vampires. Well, uh... <laughs> thank you, no thank you. How's that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. So... Now that we've subjected ourselves to that horrible thing, um, <laughs> what can we learn from it? If you're uh, if the baby is the most interesting character, you're doing something wrong. That's that's what yeah. Uh, continuity for one thing. Like, what was going on? How did people know the bats? How did anyone know what was going on? Why on earth is it that they're all able to fly back and forth between Ravenstein and Transylvania in the, like all in one night? They were talking about distance, but distance means nothing. Right. <laughs> like, you don't even have the main characters in over half of that. No. The, no. Like, I would say you're, you've only got the main characters in the show like 30% of the time. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. you have to, if you have to rely that heavily on a narrator as well, like, that, that They just is... wanted to use Elvira. Yeah. Yeah, they just wanted bad... Elvira. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's uh, that, yeah, no. I mean, it's one and... thing if you're doing, like, a first-person story, you know, then you can mm -hmm. have narration, to, like pretty heavily influenced throughout the story but like that was too much it's like if you have to explain what's happening through a narrator mm -hmm. then you haven't set it up properly yeah mm -hmm. rosie's going to have babies well, that was fast i thought they were bats not rabbits it's like oh my gosh what the heck? <laughs> like wow yeah wow and don't and that's another thing, actually. It's like, don't just do things that don't make sense because it serves the plot. Like, yeah. if it takes your characters eight days to get from one uh, town to the other in your stories, then let them make, like, have it take them eight days. You know, don't just be mm -hmm. like, oh, well, they got there. It should take eight days, but they got there in one. It's like, no, no, yeah. like show that some time has passed, do something, like, make it more realistic, more livable, like, this world yeah. more livable by... And, and how does that change? Like, one of the things in my story that I'm writing right now is that it takes several days to get literally anywhere, and so when they reach a new town, they hear news about what has happened in the last few days as they've been, like, you know, out of touch and stuff. Like, they... And so it's like when they're going from place to place, it's like the world doesn't just stop just because the main characters have decided to travel for five days, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also feel like we wouldn't have noticed that as much if they, it was only like one or two times, mm -hmm. like going back and forth with them going like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like they did. They're like... This is kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. That was, it was nuts. And like, Nathan, I want to add something as like, as far as like, show us, like, <clears throat> you can either show us them being like on the journey, which I mean, it was fun to actually like see, for instance, like the conversation between Ricardo and Hilga. Like that was actually pretty good. That was actually a good, that was probably the best travel moment actually like going into the distance and everything like that, but that's the that, that's the most that we got. So yeah. you can do something like that, or you can do it where like you can have the people show up eight days later at the next town, and they smell like they haven't bathed in eight days. Like I need to find an inn because I just smell so rancid. Yeah, it's like because that's what it would be like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like, did this all happen in one night? Is that what we're led to believe? Kinda. I, I uh, guess. I'm not sure. There was no sense of yeah. passage of time at all. Like, it could have happened in real time, and it, like, an hour and a half, or even less, because of cuts, or, like, because of, like, jump cuts and whatnot, like, and we wouldn't have mm -hmm. known different, you know? And so it's like, there was no passage of time, like, even in an hourly sense, in this story. Yeah. 
<laughs> I love how we're just picking apart the passage of time. It's like, there's so much else that's just Oh, there's wrong. so much else. <laughs> right here. But I feel right like here. that's one of the things that's like so integral to making a believable world. It's mm-hmm. just how, how does your characters interact with the world? And that includes time, distance, and, you know, mm-hmm. things like that. It's those little yeah. details that kind of like build the world around your characters and make it believable it's yeah. it's easier to get into it um have that like suspension of disbelief if you've got all those details kind of grounding your characters in that world otherwise it's hard to like stay invested mm-hmm. exactly and just like and, and like all the, like the and like all the different inventions are like here's a shrinking formula here's a disappearing formula here's something that the book said yeah we're gonna turn you into a bat it's like where, where did all of the like we we're just told that they came up with it. It's like, where did this all come from? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's it, it's nuts. And like the only re and like one thing I do know from watching the show is that the disappearing formula that the vampires used to get into the they get to get into the dungeon, they stole that from the professor. But the only reason why I know that is because I watched the show. And so, and so if I hadn't watched the show, it's kind of implied that Uberta is the one who came up with it. And it's just like, when did she have the time to brew gallons of this disappearing formula? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think that that also brings up another excellent point of like understanding, like, how do I say this? Like, you can't just keep pulling out new inventions when they're needed. Otherwise it just comes off as, deus ex machina and like that's not what you want to do you want to be like okay hey here is a concept and we're going to show you this concept later is that's uh what is that the Chekhov's gun is that right yeah exactly so you you show so you show that something exists so you know it's going to be used later or at least it should be used later otherwise it doesn't fulfill on the promise yeah exactly and if there is no promise to begin with then it just seems like you're pulling it out of your ass Mm mm-hmm exactly and i mean i'll be fair um as far as like my own stories go this like with the legend of ten lords it's one of the things i fear that i sometimes like trip up on because like when you for instance when i deal with such op characters like my cast where they're capable of just doing so many things on a whim yeah it becomes very easy to fall into this trap of just well now i've got this convenient something uh or this convenient power this convenient item and so, like, I myself, like, as I've been going back and editing the upcoming books, I'm like, okay, I have to make sure that this makes sense, that this character was right. thinking this through and no, not just like, like, oh, I... <laughs> right. It's very much a, like a second and third draft kind of thing. You don't need to worry so much about it in the first draft. But, like, when you get into that second draft, you're like, okay, now I need to make everything flow together and make sense. And adding in yeah. those, like, little details and all that kind of stuff, that you can worry about that at that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the things that I've actually thought about in my story. It's like, how do you set something up to be like this big moment without it being either a super like easily seen? Like, you know what I mean? Like, cause you kind of want, I don't think your story needs to have a major plot twist at the end, but, like, if you're wanting to go for that plot twist, be like, oh, my gosh, I was not expecting that. It needs to be something that, like, is obvious, but in all the wrong ways, if that makes sense. Like, it needs to be something that is understood could happen, but for whatever reason, like, you just don't think that'll happen, you know? And so it's yeah. like, in Ooh. my stories, did I do a good job setting up how this ending will come about, or is it like is it super obvious is it like not obvious enough and so it sounds like i'm just pulling it out of my ass like that's a it's a balancing act it's something that you need feedback on obviously Mm -hmm. this story never had feedback (laughs) no (laughs) yeah no this was like a first draft cobbling all this stuff together to make sense um no yeah actually like people they actually had like writing and animating you know what i mean like not a whole not probably was not a, a whole lot of people group. yeah it was a very small group like even the production for the show was very small 
Yeah. But at least the show had some sense of continuity from episode to episode. Uh, but for the movie, the editors just snip, 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 snip. So was this like, are these all taken from the show or is this like a separate entity altogether? This is all taken from the show. This is all okay. just, they took, they took, they took bits of the show that there's like, of they're like, well, this looks really cool and put it on in. So like, so it's like a best. There, there, there's certain there, there's certain scenes that are in the wrong spot, uh, or that they or that when they are editing it, it really don't make a whole lot of sense. So like for instance, um, when Contessa Hilga is like get, is about to get roofied, <laughs> that the whole build up to that in the show actually makes sense because what they're basically doing is she's like going to have like a prisoner exchange, is what mm-hmm. they're trying to set up. Rather than just that he shows up magically. And so, like, that's why she's so angry is because the time has come for the exchange and no one's there. And so, and so like, the, the show actually has has the continuity. It makes sense uh, with, what, with what they do, which is still ridiculous. But the movie had no concept of that whatsoever. Because they were somehow trying to take an entire season... And cram it into an hour and a half. Yeah, which is yeah. not usually the best way to go. That actually gets into a very interesting discussion about like adaptations. Um, which I mean, this is already you know an hour forty five minutes, so we don't need to necessarily get into it. But mm-hmm. suffice it to say, and I I do eventually want to make a YouTube video about this. Uh, but suffice it to say, when it comes to adapting something, whether that's uh, shrinking it, making it longer, uh, turning it from one medium to another, like i.e. books to movies, it's less about making sure you adapt every single plot point and more important that you adapt the feeling and the emotion mm. behind the, yeah, the plot points. Yeah. Um, that's an excellent point. Yeah. And so if all you're doing is like, okay, so let me make sure that we get all of the story thrown into this as fast as possible, it's going to be chaos, like what we just watched. But if you think, I was like, okay, well, what's what's important to the story? And now what's important to the emotions? What's important to the characters? What's important to all of this? That's where your focus should be. That's what makes, honestly, a lot of the Harry Potter ones so great is the fact that there isn't this huge focus on the actual plot, but the focus is on the emotion behind the characters and Harry Mm -hmm. Potter is far from the best adaptation, but it's still a very competent adaptation. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So, yeah. Especially with what they, they had going. Uh, So because we've got on for so long, I think we should wrap. I think at least I want to wrap it up with (laughs) the thing I said at the beginning of like, which Bella is better. Bella from Twilight or Bella from Catch Up Vampires? Because they're I mean, basically the same character. Twilight. Yeah, they don't give. <laughs> I've well, yeah, I've read the books, so Twilight, I can say Twilight. There's more available, but that's at least from our perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, I haven't seen the movies. I haven't read the books. Yeah. Like, I've only seen this movie of Catch Up Vampires that we just watched. And so, from like an outside perspective, for the most part, they could be the same, and I can see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will say that uh, the movie does a terrible the the Twilight movies do a terrible job of this. But having read the books, like Bella isn't the most interesting character, but she does have some autonomy, and she does mm-hmm. have like a certain level of like aspirations and goals, which makes it fun this one this bella didn't not really it's just oh i'm here oh. i'm the i'm the love interest look at me oh i get kidnapped. yeah love interest damsel in distress yeah. which if that's if that's what you're using the love interest for uh maybe rethink it uh maybe mm-hmm. maybe give it a little bit more depth uh, because just a, a simple damsel or damster what what <laughs> it's a dumpster, a dumpster. 
<laughs> yeah, what's the male version of a damsel in distress? A dumpster dude. in dis- a dude. A dude a dump- in distress. A dude in distress. A dude in distress. (laughs) If it's a damsel or a dude in distress or a non-binary individual in distress, um, there should be some autonomy. There should be some like actual character progression happening during all of this. That's one of the things that I focused really hard on in my story, Black Wings, where yes, the main love interest is a dude in distress, but like he has his own character arc happening at the same time uh and like there's so much going on with it that it's less of just like oh come help save me it's like there's a lot more going on and i hope someday that you know you guys will be able to uh experience what i'm talking about so we don't have to be so vague and you know risk spoiling things but Uh, yeah no say that this bella like, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Twilight at all, but the, the Twilight Bella does have definitely more autonomy. I mean, she has goals. This Bella, the only one, the only concrete goals that the only concrete goals that I know that she has is that she wants to marry Pino and she wants to count tomatoes. Yeah. If that if that if that is what can sum up your character, there's Yeah, they're forgettable. Yeah. And then why should we even bother about her being rescued? I at this point of like I'll be honest, I'm more I was suddenly more interested in the family drama of the bats, as creepy and weird as that was, and and whatever was happening with Uberta than I was with Bella being saved. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh as always, we are <laughs> impressed yeah. that you made it this far into the video. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yep. If you skip yep. to the end, I don't blame you either. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to like sleep with my eyes open because every time I close my eyes, I'm gonna see this movie and it's gonna haunt me. <laughs> Not in a scary way, in like a you can't ever escape it. You just sacrificed an hour and a half of your life to this. <laughs> it'll never, it'll never come back. Never again. It's, uh, that hour and a half is lost to all time and eternity. So. <laughs> Anyway, join us on Discord if you want to join in on the discussion. Um, we have such a great time. And we have uh, NaNoWriMo coming up. It's going to be a blast. We have a little channel there where you can share your story uh, and just kind of get some inspiration or motivation or help if you if you need it for NaNoWriMo. So join us because it's a lot more fun with friends this adventure we call writing uh and you know like comment subscribe do all the youtube stuff because that helps us out a ton Uh, obviously we're a small little channel and any help we can get is appreciated yeah Yeah. i mean we're almost there to 1000 subscribers with your help we can make it all the way absolutely and i also want to say keep your eyes open for bleed steam and steel by our very old lars jensen here uh, it should be coming it, it's not already out is it um i uh, i have i have released uh, i can do this because i it because i uh, uh because i self-published i released one version to see what the cut co- what the cover is going to be like because i just i let the cover was difficult so i'm going to see what one cover is like and then we're going to go with another if that one's awful so yeah. it is what it is. It is there. It is open. If you Google bleed steam in steel and with an apostrophe. And... Yeah. I, yeah. Copyright. Copyright. It sucks. <laughs> uh, that That's my way of getting around copyright for a Love board it. game. Also, I, also, I switched some things around. but <laughs> So it is already out. I will actually have like a special promo for it uh, sometime soon. And then I'm just going to start. Um, I, I'm just going to start advertising it. Plus, yeah. also, uh, I spiel for the future. I am going to do a video about the steampunk genre, just because it's a it's a genre that everyone has encountered, but no one has like people are just like, I don't know if I really want to get into that. It's a great genre. It's a very highly misunderstood genre, and it's a genre that most of their fantasy and science fiction actually like to borrow from and and be like yeah okay we're not going to talk to you anymore so 
it's a it's a misunderstood genre and i want to get into it a little bit it's like that uh that ex-girlfriend that you're like wow you taught me a lot about dating but i don't ever want to talk to you again <laughs> exactly except steampunk won't break your heart <laughs> exactly well hopefully not maybe it will hopefully not yeah <laughs> with that said thank you for joining us go go to sleep you deserve it after watching this yes uh and happy halloween and happy halloween be safe out there um t uh, eat a lot of uh pixie dust pixie sticks powder <laughs> just <laughs> snort it if you want maybe oh, oh, maybe no. not maybe don't snort it actually i'm just gonna turn this off no. before we uh get in trouble goodbye <laughs>